Breaking news. See what INEC has done. INEC has rejected Senator Akwabio and accept the contender as the APC senatorial candidate. INEC has also asked Bola Ametinobu, Atiku Abubaka, Peter Obi to publish assets. Now this is Syrup asking that they should publish their assets so everybody could be aware of what they have or what they had before they go into their offices. So at the end of the day, whatever they get later, we can make a calculation. Just like we, we normally make calculation, right? <laughs> Nigeria, Nigeria. Well, this is what is happening right now. They've been asked to come, you know, to get to this level so that um, there can be some levels of accountability. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. Now, Akbabio has been rejected. Okay, he once was one of the senator, uh, one of the presidential candidates. He's also one of the people who stepped down for Tinubu, and um, you know, but guess what? It's no longer business as usual. They have to, you know, publish. He, he has now been rejected, and this is him going out of politics. This is him not having a voice in all of these things going on. Let's get all the details. INEC rejects Akwabio, Bola Tinubu. INEC rejects Akwabio. Bola Tinubu, Atiku, Peter Obi urged to public assets by Syrup immediately. Uh -huh. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has rejected the primaries which produced Godwin Akwabio as the All Progressive Congress candidates in Akwa Ibom, North West Senatorial District. Akwabio, who stepped down for Ashiwaja made Bola Tinubu's presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress at the convention of the part ruling party, was declared winner of a senatorial primaries conducted on Thursday. However, INEC has not recognized him and has recognized another candidate as the candidate for APC for that very senatorial district. Sirob has also asked Atiku Abubaka and others to publish their assets. Atiku Abubaka, Shiwaja Medbola Tinobo, Peter Obi to publish their assets before election commence. The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project has sent an open letter to presidential candidates ahead of the February 2023 presidential election, urging them to urgently publish details of their assets and liabilities. The group also urged the presidential aspirants to reject vote buying and electoral bribery before and during the election. Syrup disclosed this in an open letter dated June 11, 2022, and signed by Syrup, Deputy Director Kola Wole Olu, Oluwadari. So they've been asked to come publish their assets. They've been asked to come, you know, do the right thing immediately, you know, that these things are going on and then, you know, they should publish their assets. They should, you know, get in and ensure that, you know, they, they bring in the right perspective. Okay, we must know what they have before the election commence. Well, meanwhile, INEC has asked that, you know, these people, the following set of people publish, you know, their assets and ensure that, you know, uh, whatever they think that they have done, you know, whatever they have, let the whole world be aware. And that is syrup asking, okay, that if they really want to re lead in an atmosphere that is fair, in an atmosphere that, ha you know, where there, is, where there is truth and transparency, they should be able to tell Nigerians what they have. They're able to tell Nigerians, you know, uh, what they, they, they possess. So at the end of the day, every additional money and additional things can be truly, you know, be investigated. I mean, if we, if all these things we have in place are really sincerely being implemented, we should not be having a problem in Nigeria. If all these things we have in place, okay, are truly being implemented, being followed, we should not be having a problem in Nigeria. We shouldn't. Like, we shouldn't be having any problem in Nigeria. Sadly, we have these things 
in names. Okay, we have them as names written down somewhere as something that we ought to do when electoral processes come on board. But truly, sincerely speaking, we don't follow them. No, we don't. Not even one of them do we follow. We don't follow them at all. Like at all. We don't follow any of them. So that's the irony. That's the sad part of everything. That's the irony of it all. We don't follow any of these things. We don't. We have them written in book, but we don't do them. We have them written down, but we don't follow them. We have them written down, but none of these things, you know, is a reality. We don't follow any of them at all. So you see, so this is exactly what is happening and why Nigerians are asking that everyone and anyone, okay, who is, who is, uh, you know, uh, ready to, to lead must be ready to declare their assets. Meanwhile, Senator Akwabio, the man for Niger Delta, you need to go to the Niger Delta and see where he's a senator. Some children went to school last, went to bed last night without a single food in their tummy. Yes, they went to bed hungry, no jobs. Yes, he's a senator parading himself for himself, by himself, with himself. And he's not concerned on what happened to any other person. Can you see, can you see that it is a very disturbing state? Or in a very you know disturbing situation era so these are some of the things going on right now and why we cannot afford to double between opinion in all of these things so at the end of the day we can all truly be a better people and you know nigeria can be a better and a safe place so these are some of the things that are going on right now okay these are some of the things that are going on it is important to begin to pay attention to some of these things so that we can be free and have a better nation for us all the truth of it is that you, yeah, you, you listening to me, go get your PVC. If you don't get it, the wrong person will come on board again. And listen, we will stay in that very position, just like we 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 weather it through it with Buhari, and we don't want that. We don't want that. So let's do the needful. Let's get the right candidate. Okay, let's get the right candidate. Otherwise, hmm, you will not like what will follow. You won't like it. We don't want a repeat of another Buhari. We don't want it. So these are some of the things that are going on and why we must pay attention to what is right. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. For most, it's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Let's speak out against everything evil. Bye.